Autumn is a mystical season. Most of us can feel it as soon as that turn in the air comes. There's a sense of being able to connect to the unseen world. In the Celtic understanding, autumn was a time when you could connect to the other world, including those who've passed and are now on the other side. In many traditional cultures around the world, there was an essential role that seems to awaken back into our memory each autumn. And this is the role of the psychopomp. Are you a psychopomp? I'm Asia Suler, earth intuitive, teacher and author of Mirrors in the Earth, and this video is here to help you find out. A psychopomp traditionally is someone who guides souls from one state of transition into another, the most common transition being that transition from life to death. A psychopomp's role is to make this transition easier. Psychopomp comes from the Greek psychopompus, which means guide of souls. We often think of psychopomps as angels, spirit guides, deities, but humans can be psychopomps too. So the first time I heard this word, it really helped me make sense of some experiences that I had had in my life. Starting when I was in my teenage years, I would have dreams where people who had recently passed on would come and ask for my help. Sometimes in these dreams, people who had recently departed would come and ask me to share a message, give their loved one a hug, or simply come to tell me that they were safe and sound on the other side. So I started to have these experiences where in my dreams, I would encounter folks who had recently crossed over, and I noticed that I was often helping them in some way, passing on a message, helping them feel safe and comfortable on that other side. And when I heard the word psychopomp, I remember thinking, oh, that's what's happening in my dream time. So here's some questions to help you discover whether you are a psychopomp. So the first question would be, do you have literal dreams with people who've passed on? Often, if you have this innate ability to be a psychopomp, folks who have recently passed will come to you in your dreams, or even folks who've been on the other side for a while. They might come with messages, they might come with tidings, they might ask you to pass those messages on to other people, but really pay attention to your dreams and and really open the possibility that these dreams aren't just the random firings of your mind, but are very literal encounters in the unseen world. I often find that these dreams come much more readily in the autumn time because this is the time when the veils are the thinnest. So it's really common for me to start to have these dreams every autumn. Also, are you someone who tends to attract people animals or energies that need comfort or help. I often find that if you are someone who tends to draw in folks who are in any kind of transition in their life, a transitional moment or time where they're just seeking solace and you tend to be someone who draws in those folks who you just notice that they end up kind of coming into your sphere, you probably have some ability as a psychopomp. So we're used to hearing about psychopomps helping people bridge between the states of transition that is life to afterlife, but psychopomps can also help people through different major transitions in their life. We've all been through transitions that feel as if one life ended and another one began. So if you are drawn to things like psychology or the study of the unconscious, this alone might be an indicator that you have this ability to act as a psychopomp, a guide of souls. And finally, are you someone that finds it easy to navigate treacherous terrain? Are you someone who can handle it when someone comes to you with their turbulent emotions or feelings? Maybe you're kind of a grounding rod for your friends. Or are you someone who is fascinated by or drawn to some of the more complex, shadowy, or nuanced sides of existence? I often find that people who have this psychopomp ability 
also have the ability to work in a lot of the different shades, grades, and variants of existence. So you might be comfortable in waters that other people feel like they're out of their depth. So these are all indicators that you have this ability to help guide souls in this lifetime, both during their life and beyond. Now, whether you believe in life after death or not, you can embrace this archetype of the psychopomp. In this way of thinking, psychopomps are helping bridge psychological gaps as well. So as we move from one transition in our life to another, you might be someone who can naturally help people make this transition with grace. I find a lot of transitions end up happening in the fall for folks, and I think it's because this energy of the other world comes in to help support us in making these changes. Now, I just gave you a good introduction to what psychopomps are and some questions to figure out whether or not you might be one. And taking all this into account, here's the thing. I think we are all psychopomps on a certain level. I believe that we all came here to this earth at this time to help this great transition. We came here to help midwife this soulful transition from one way of being on this planet to another. The truth is that the old world is dying and a new world is being born. And that's exactly what we're seeing happening around the world as we see these great changes, transitions, and upheavals take place. And you came here for this reason, to be a part of this transition, to be a psychopomp for our earth. And this is something I talk about in my book, Mirrors in the Earth, that all of us are like mushrooms here to help alchemize what is decaying, what is on its way out, what needs to die, so that we can see a new world be born, a world that we are here to help co-create and midwife into existence. So I'm curious, is this resonating for you as I talk about these aspects of what it means to be a psychopomp in your life and in the wider world? Is any of this clicking? Have you had experiences now that you can really point to or highlight as that was an experience where I was being asked to step into my ability to be a guide of souls? And if you'd like to really embrace all of the richness that this autumn season can contain, definitely check out my class, Herbs for the Other World. In the class, I help open this gateway so that you can develop a direct connection with the other world with the help of ancestral practices, tools, and herbs and mushrooms that will really help open this gateway of perception so you can really utilize and steep yourself in the magic of this autumn season. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for the gifts and the guidance you so naturally bring to this world.